Hello and welcome to another video for Excel users. In this video I'm just going to show you how to remove all the stuff that you see around the Excel screen. And there are sometimes occasions when you want to maybe hide the sheet tabs, possibly the formula bar so people can't easily see the calculation even though there may be other ways of finding out. And you might also maybe want to hide the scroll bars and things like that. And to do that, you go to the File tab, come all the way down to the Options button. That opens your Excel Options dialog. Come down to the Advanced Options. And you need to scroll then through the options, and there are many, as you can see, until you get to these two sections. Display Options for the Workbook and Display Options for the Worksheet, depending on the things you may want to hide. So some of these are applicable to the entire workbook and some are applicable just to the active worksheet. Although you can change the sheet setting here so you can go through them one by one and customize how each one appears depending on what you want to do of course. I'll leave it on sheet one for now and this is my only workbook I have open. If you had other workbooks you would be able to choose those from this drop down. So let's go through these and switch everything off, see what happens. So we will switch off the vertical and horizontal scroll bars. We will switch off the sheet tabs. And we'll leave the group dates in the auto filter menu because I'm not really bothered about that one. Come down to the worksheet options. I'm going to hide row and column headers. I'll leave page breaks and I will leave show a zero, leave show outline and I will also remove show grid lines. So I've taken away almost everything that you would normally expect to see when you open a workbook. So if I click OK now you'll see the result. So pretty much everything has vanished from the worksheet. So the only way I can scroll now is to use a scroll wheel on my mouse. I've got no scroll bars. I can still click in cells and navigate around using the keyboard and obviously scroll up and down using the keyboard as well. But I can't switch to another worksheet unless I know the keyboard shortcut, which would be control page down or control page up. So as long as the person using your spreadsheet doesn't know that, then they won't be able to move off the active worksheet. Now I was also going to hide the formula bar, so let's go back to that file menu, go to options, again go to advanced, scroll all the way down. And we'll find that on the display section here, and you can see I've got show all windows in taskbar, show formula bar, so I'll take the tick out of that, show function screen tips, not really bothered about that one. And you can also disable the comments here, the cell comments. I'll leave the default direction as left to right as well. So let's click OK, see what those changes do. And uh, we see it's an even more reduced appearance, so no more formula bar. So you could click now in a cell with a calculation and providing somebody didn't know how to make a calculation appear in the cell, which they could do by, say, double clicking, just escape out of that, then they wouldn't see it anywhere else. Now remember the changes that you make when you do this only apply to the active workbook or worksheet. So if I create a new workbook now, I'll just do Control N on the keyboard, you will see a lot of the things that are taken away come back again excepting the formula bar, the display options that I turned off. So some things do stay turned off, but as you can see I now have my scroll bars back, I've got my sheet tabs and I've got my ABCs and 123s, the column and row headers as well. So almost back to normal. I'll just control F4 to close that workbook. And now go back to the file menu and we'll switch everything back on again. Come to the options, again go to advanced, scroll down to display first of all, put the formula bar back on, and scroll down to the workbook. I'll put the horizontal scroll bar, the vertical scroll bar, and the sheet tabs back on. Scroll down to the worksheet options, add on the row and column headers, and finally switch back on my grid lines. Click OK. And there we are, back to normal. So just a quick look at some of the things you can do to change the appearance of a worksheet. And if you do find 
all the bits and pieces around the window distracting you can turn quite a lot of it off completely and of course if you want to hide your ribbon you can right click and just minimize that as well and that disappears as well should you want to do that to bring it back just click any tab right click in the ribbon and just take the tick out of minimize the ribbon and it's back again so that concludes this quick look at customizing the appearance of your excel spreadsheets thank you for watching and i'll see you next time